these are the steps to uh, change out a snow pulse canister. So, snow pulse canister is in its own <laughs> pocket uh, near the Velcro. And then unscrew the uh, firing pin. I don't know what we're going to call this. I don't know what to call some of this shit. <laughs> firing pin's good. Firing pin protective device. Unscrew the canister. The rest of the canister. And make sure you take your firing pin out. There. Next, we're going to undo, uh, take the canister apart, check out, check the piston and the o-ring. So that's piston. Uh, so after every deployment we have to replace the o-ring. This is done by taking it, pinching it up so you can get the tweezers underneath. And then once you've got the tweezers underneath, uh, just break it off. Usually comes off. <laughs> oh, there we go. And that's off. Once you got the old O ring off, take a new O ring. Make sure it's in good condition. And then you take the uh, O ring uh, <laughs> adapter. There's the O ring adapter. Oh, yeah. Allows you to put the o-ring on easily. And then you take it, put it up against the uh, piston, and roll. So once you've got the new o-ring on, uh, take your grease. Grease your uh, O-ring and piston. And then insert back into the canister. Uh, you'll know it's inserted because it'll kind of uh, sit in or fit in or click in. <laughs> We're going to have to read it. Uh, and then once you've got that done. I need to grab some paper towel. So I'm just uh, getting the grease off my hands here. Um, next thing I'm going to do is to put the uh, this thing back on. That's a technical term. And you notice it doesn't sit upright, so you just back it off one turn, and with the lock washer, just finger finger tight. So it doesn't have to be perfectly tight. A little bit of movement's all right. And from there, you're going to put the firing pin back in. So after deployment, this lever, you just push it in. If you go too far, you can always take your tweezers and realign it. Put your firing pin back in. It should sit right flush. And next, last thing we have to do is change out our stickers to uh, prevent any moisture or water from getting into the cylinder. Take off the old stickers, I just take an X-Acto knife. Alright. So we've got our old stickers off now, uh, putting on the new ones. And uh, this canister is good to fill now. Last thing uh, I do, if you're not filling this canister right away, is just to put your caps on. Prevents the pin from falling out and just protects the threads.